Every year I've always wanted to become a stronger teacher and in being rigorous and making sure that if my students leave my classroom that they can go to any school in the district, any school in the country and kind of have the same experience. And so this has helped me to understand what does rigor look like, how do I embed rigor in the things I'm already doing. And so that was one thing that I truly wanted to um, feel co more confident about. And then how do I do the, use the collaborative process to sort of facilitate that ability for my students. The direct coaching while I'm teaching was there. I, and she wasn't, uh, Ms. Carnahan wasn't um, verbal. She did it through demonstration. So if she could see that I was a little frazzled throughout um, a project, uh, or maybe just even group discussion where um, a set of questions was given and of course the roles were assigned. You know, I could see her like demonstrating with this particular group, especially those groups where I had a lot of struggling readers. Um, she would come in and demonstrate for me. So as I'm working with one group, I could see her also doing the same thing. And so she would model and then step back. Ah, light bulb experience. I was not expecting so many resources. She is awesome. She'll say, okay, Tracy, I came, that went well. Um, you know, this didn't go too well. Think about this. I'm gonna send you something tonight. And I mean, there are so many things that she has sent. I'm still plowing through things. But you know, I didn't expect to get that kind of support. I didn't, I, I didn't know what to expect. But she totally, you know, had me and I like that. I have a class that is 31 rambunctious 11th grade U.S. history students. And it's, I have a, luckily have a very large room. Uh, and I was not using that room in the best way possible to accommodate the learning needs of those students. And my media coach looked at that room and instantly saw the possibilities and started steamrolling me with ideas about what I could do. Uh, and since this experience, I'm never going back to what I had before. That idea of kids being in pairs and rows and me front and center putting on a show, yay, that's not happening anymore. Uh, now it's more student focused, it's groups, I can freely walk around, I'm not the center of attention, they are. Uh, that's something I've tried before, but not something I've really put in and practiced because I didn't have that person on my side that was really pushing me in that, in that direction. My students now realize that they can rely on one another and it's a safe space, you know, and that the classroom allows that safe space, you know, Ms. Wallace allows that safe space, that it's okay for you not to ask me all of the, the questions that you can ask each other. This is not the first time I've heard these things. Like, we've been told, hey, you should do this. This is what it needs to look like. But we're never really given that experience and that ability to kind of be pushed in that direction and given the support uh, for that to happen, and we are, uh, and with, with this group that we've been working with. So finally, you know, now I, I feel uh, much more challenged, much better prepared to use some of these, these skills and I've been practicing them and I've been working through the failures with them and perfecting them and reflecting. So uh, the way that I look at this is finally, it's, it's something that's a lot easier to work with and I see better results out of it.